in this video we're going to be bring, bringing back what i believe to be one of the best routes in madden that uh, year in and year out that a lot of people have stopped using um and it used to be something that was really effective in bunch and then people honestly kind of got away from this um especially in the last couple of years but i'm really excited to share this with you so if you're new to the channel uh, my name is cody we do videos like this every single day if you want to learn the all of our um trip side in stuff or just basically all of our high level stuff i would really encourage you to get into our patreon membership it's only ten dollars to sign up for it gets you access to everything all my defensive guides my offensive guides um we got over 25 ebooks in there so if you want to check that out um again that link will be in the description and what you want to do for this setup here is we just want to put our number one receiver whoever your number one receiver is your best user catch guy um you want to put him here on the outside and this is something that i found like a little bit ago that i really really want to talk more about um because it's super super effective now you can also pair this with one of the best crossers in the game by the way too so um anyways the play is pa shot post this is found in the detroit playbook or the new england playbook and we're not going to focus too much on this crosser i've talked about this before but what i want to focus on today is this deep post being one of the best user catch routes um that no one is using and what we want to do here i'm going to show you first and foremost against the meta so we're going to go with the mike blitz three kind of you know drop a mabel concept and what you're going to see with this is setup wise it's fairly simple you just need one streak on the field it could be from anybody on the field but i like to streak my tight end okay um you could not if, if you don't want to streak your tight end that's fine you don't have to you can streak your running back or whatever but i think streaking your tight end makes this really good so streak your tight end and then i like to slant lazard he's kind of going to be my check down i'm going to motion him to the right and he's gonna i'm going to basically snap the ball like right before he sets his feet like get him way out here and this is my number one read and when he cuts inside you can see i can cut that off and aggressive catch that really really easily against the mike blitz three meta i'll show you that again and then we'll talk about um we'll talk about some other coverages so you see here i've got my cover three i'm gonna go ahead and press just to get myself a little bit better of, of an animation um and what you'll see is this thing is a great user catch inside the zones really good user catch inside the zones um so once he cuts inside once he gets inside leverage on the zones that's literally all you need to do and you just pass lead it inside and you cut it off at aggressive catch it and i'm just telling you is super super consistent you'll see that Devonte adams this this aggressive catch animation is very very consistent with this route okay so again you see here just see how this this guy pulls now you can throw it like right in here too by the way and he'll still do that dive catch type thing where the zone pulls back just like that now the other thing that i want to show you so that was covered um that was cover three now i want to show you cover two cover two is going to be a little bit easier um in my opinion just because you know you don't have the middle third guy the middle third safety and what you'll notice with this Again, this guy's gonna pull those deep halves. Once he gets kind of inside, you're just gonna aggressive catch it just like that. And I mean, it basically has to be user, user guarded in cover three and cover two. Now you might be thinking, as I have, that cover four is gonna be lethal against this. It's gonna be very good. This is why I really wanna encourage you to make sure that when you snap the ball, that this slant has gotta be over, um, over as much as possible. You don't want him in the middle of the field because he will actually pull the inside quarter down as long as that slant is not interfering with the inside quarter that is going to be open every single time so again that was cover four drop i'll show it to you again and i'm of course pressing my defense and you'll see here um, i like to leave the wheel because i feel like the wheel does a great job of setting up the slant that is a late read and it still pulls a lot of those zones out of the way look at that real simple real smooth obviously you want to have gunslinger set beat lead or something um just to kind of zip the ball in there a little bit and now i'm going to show you the 335 wide cover four show two the 335 wide cover four show two i think is actually a little bit better probably the best defense for this to be honest with you um and what you'll see with this is again watch that watch that streak watch him pull so you're just waiting for this to kind of get underneath and you see how i can just aggressive catch that every single time and they have to use user user to defend that now let's say that you're watching this and you're like you know what if they run man to man man to man is decent against this route this year but if you have a route tech or if you have a receiver that i mean 
you don't even necessarily need it. It's just if they don't have like a, a stud corner and you like there's not a major discrepancy, a lot of times you'll see once he gets that inside position, it's an aggressive catch every single time. So you're just waiting for him to get inside position. But once he does, this is an aggressive catch every time. And that was cover one robber. Okay, and, and, and obviously cover two man is going to be kind of similar to the cover two zone, just in terms of the fact that he's going to split the safeties. Um, and then cover one is really the better coverage. And what you'll see here, this time we don't get that inside position. But what's also really cool is this wheel. If they shade underneath coverage in any capacity, whether it be outside and underneath or inside and underneath, that route is really, 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 really difficult. So I'm going to shade inside and underneath. And what you'll notice with PA shot post, this is one of the other reasons why I like to leave this wheel is now they can't just have a safety help inside leverage. So you'll see right here again, you see how he gets that step on him. They can't match it because we motioned. And as you see, this is a really good concept against press man to man. Now, the other thing that I want to show you is now what they're forced to do is they're forced to basically, because we're motioning over a slant route, because of that, they're forced to have to play actual man defense. They can't just run the match coverages and stuff like that. So now what you'll see, this was shaded outside and underneath. And as you can see, this gets open so they basically can't run press man on you because you have this massively um incredible wheel route over the top that you can hit them with at any point so now what they have to do is they have to kind of rely on the basic press elements of this formation which your slant beats and now you'll see that this s post is going to have a lot better of a chance at getting inside once he gets inside even if he's not inside like that you can kind of mess with that and again the more confident you feel um, throw it but if you don't you know if you don't feel confident don't but test it out lab it out go in practice mode a little bit before you run this in a game but this is really good and, and like i said there's not really a zone that plays it so you can kind of rely on this now right there that's that's about what you don't want to throw like if he gets that kind of inside position okay but other than that like throw it other than that throw it it doesn't matter what they do and again i'll show you cover four show too and then um like I said, what's going to have to happen is they're going to have to use her that route. And that's where your slant is going to come open. I'm going to show you that in just a second. But I just want to show you one more time. So you see here, he comes underneath the safety. Aggressive catch it. There I threw it just a split second too early. I did get I did get uh, swatted. But again, you have to understand, that's cover four show too. Like, that's a deep, that coverage is designed to get a double team on that, essentially. Um, you know, so it's not like, the, you know, again, you have other stuff open. Um, you know, you're tied in but just wait on it a little bit longer here. So just wait on it. You can low ball it, aggressive catch it, just cut it off. That route is so, it's it's tough. And it's really something more so for cover three or cover two, but it does do fine against the cover four. Now, the next thing that I want to show you here is what if their user is is trying to guard this with, his, um, with their user, okay? What you've got now is if you look at this slant, this slant is really good because this streak's gonna pull back zones, so you can throw it right here. You can also wait on it, and you'll notice that this quarter flat ain't gonna guard it, and that's a 10 yard zone drop. So it's gonna get over the top of the majority of zone drops. Um, another situation that you'll probably find yourself in is against a cover three with the two purples. Um, and, and what you'll see with this, a lot of times those curl flat zones, they're gonna match the wheel and that's one yet another great reason for this wheel you see here late in the play a lot of times you could also playmaker this up you know kind of break down the zone like that if they're in a stock cover three i'm just telling you that wheel will get matched by that defender a lot of times they'll get matched even if they're not in in a stock cover three and then the cover three mabel example something like this this is again why this is such a good concept because what you'll see is this slant really can, especially if you wait for it to get all the way over here and give it a little bit of a delay, the zones will drift away from it and you can kind of really tear them up underneath. You'll see right here, kind of throw right in that little pocket and you see how much space that is. Um, so that is a great little concept. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And if you want to get my full Patreon membership, all my eBooks in it, there's a link in the description that you can click on to go check it out. Thanks for watching. If you want to check out the membership, go down to the description and click the link down below.